so hello everyone welcome back to the channel and um, today you are going to be solving the question you can see on your screen right now and this is a question from um, uh, je advanced 2024 sample paper of iit kanpur okay so this is from iit kanpur sample paper so this is available online i mean you can google this and I mean you can solve this, this uh, contains pretty good questions, I will come up with uh, videos or other questions of this paper. But anyways, so let's solve this question for now. This states that uh, uniform solid of mass m and radius r uh, is placed like this and here is an impulse j0. Okay, this is not a force, this is an impulse and this is applied at a distance, at a height rather, alpha into r uh, above the central axis of the sphere okay so now we are given four options and this is actually a multiple correct question and i am really thankful to the channel j physics so let me just write the name here so you guys can check out his channel too i mean that's where i found out this course find out this question okay so he uploads one video on these two anyway so we have to uh, choose which of whichever options is correct in this question okay so let's get going now first i mean this question is pretty simple we have just have to apply one thing the definition of impulse what what do we know from the definition of impulse that j is equal to let me write a little bigger yes j is equal to delta p okay and here mass is constant so we can write this as delta m into delta v okay what is this this basically states the definition of impulse that impulse is basically the change of uh, momentum okay and uh, also if uh, the if delta p cannot be measured uh, a exactly like that i mean delta p if delta p cannot be measured directly then we can also write that j is integral of over some time t of f dt okay so we can also write this anyway and what is the impulse here j naught is an applied impulse and we have a friction here okay so we have friction here so the friction will have some impulse let's take the time interval 0 to any t and the friction let's write this as f for now and it starts from um, initial velocity zero so this is just mv okay and now the friction the normal force here is basically m into g and the friction coefficient is mu so we can directly write that g naught and that uh, you can see that the whole friction is constant nothing but constant so from here we can just write that let, just let me write v as a function of time because uh, we are deriving v as a function of time here um, I mean for any time t after 0 so j naught minus mu into mg t mg which is the friction is equal to m into v t so if we write v t this will be nothing but j naught divided by m minus mu g t ok so this is our uh, uh, velocity at time t now let's just uh, look at the options the final velocity of the sphere does not depend on uh, alpha ok so very clearly the fi final velocity v f will be just only this j naught by m minus m mu g t f ok so this option is I mean this option is very much correct that uh, there is no alpha term in the expression of velocity and the second thing is the final velocity of the sphere does not depend on mu ok so actually there is a catch here that um, this uh, because this is an impulsive force and friction I mean friction is no impulsive force uh, the uh, this if this actually i mean for any i mean for any mass you can think of 
let's say uh, a 10 kg mass okay and let the gravity be uh, 10 new, uh, 10 meter per second squared and the mu be 0.3 so in that case the friction will only be 30 newton and this is not an impulsive force okay so that's the i mean idea behind the option 2 this is not an impulsive force at all because impulsive force has to have a higher value like uh, it it acts for a very short amount of time right so for a finite impulse the impulsive force should have a higher value okay so friction is not an impulsive force so i mean from this what do we get that the this term mu g into tf this is very small okay so that raises in a, an ambiguity in the question that if math if you speak mathematically then this option this b option this should not be correct but if we speak theoretically that uh, the i mean the uh, impulse due to friction is very less it's negligible then it should be correct so i i, I mean i am not commenting on the option right now and uh, as uh, everyone knows the base the whole thing is based on mathematics so in the examination all I, I would have gone mathematically and I would not risk uh, my one mark I mean if you get one wrong you will get minus two right I mean whole thing is wasted and you will get just a minus two that's loss of uh, I mean you are getting two or uh, four and you got minus two so that's a big loss so you cannot afford to lose so much marks so in exam hall you should not write uh, you should not tick the option b because this is ambiguous okay so let's move on to c and d we'll solve the d first i mean d part first it's given that for mu not equal to mu is equal to 0 and alpha is equal to 1 the final velocity of the sphere is 10 g not divided by 7 n okay so anyway uh, let me remove this part this part over here because I mean this was just an example so that you understood the thing why this mu gtf term is small so anyway now moving on to the d part and for mu is equal to 0 what we can write that vt this will be is equal to mu is becoming 0 so vt will be nothing but g0 by m and this is the our final velocity and for the final velocity of the sphere is 10 j0 by 7 m this is absolutely incorrect it's only j0 by m and now the last part uh, which is the c part okay so for the c part we will have to what is the condition for rolling v is equal to omega r now we have to do one more equation and that is basically the uh, balance of i will I mean I should not say balance here because nothing is being balanced here but uh, I, I mean you just know this thing right I omega is it's the is your angular momentum and your angular momentum in another way you can write that here G naught is the applied impulse so you can also write that it's G naught into alpha r this is also a form of the angular momentum and here the I it's uh, of course about the uh, center I mean this is this is ICM into omega and what was omega omega was VF divided by R VF divided by R okay and this was alpha into J naught R and now what was I and uh, I for a solid sphere you know right that for a solid sphere I is 2 by 5 MR square and now what was VF VF was your nothing but j0 by m and j0 by m r because there is an r in the denominator and this is alpha into j0 r and all of the things get cancelled and from this we get that alpha is actually equal to 2.2 divided by 5 when the spear begins to roll without slipping ok so the option c is indeed correct so I mean uh, I cannot comment like that for the final answer uh, in examination hall if this appeared on my JE advanced I would 
mark a and c but this is a question should b be correct here mathematically speaking b is not correct at all but theoretically speaking b could be correct but the we cannot um, discover i mean you would get two marks right if let's suppose just b was correct and uh, you will get to still two marks right for partial marking so you are if and if b weren't right you will lose four and minus minus negative two that is six marks that's the straight six marks loss so no need to risk six marks for two marks and you just mark uh, a and c in these types of uh, pro, i mean ambiguous questions okay so that brings us to the end of this video and um, i hope you learned the learn the thing and actually as this is from a sample paper of an iit these the questions like this would be really important for this year's advanced and also uh, i mean i i am updating it once again that you can join the telegram group for i mean it, the link is given in the description if you uh, have any questions for me or if you want to be stay connected with me then you can join the telegram group it's basically a je mentorship group but we c we may keep connect our connection there okay so anyway that brings us to the end of this video uh, i again hope you learned the concept and just stay tuned there will be more videos like this in the last week before advanced 2024 and thank you for watching we'll see you in the next video